Sky TV xenophobic historical crow. What are you doing, Pliny? I am shivering your timbers like you asked, Histor. You asked me to shiver your timbers, and so I am shivering your timbers by putting your timbers in this fridge. You stupid bird! Shiver me timbers. Feather me wingers. Is a nautical <laughs> term meaning. Mean wing what, Histor? I never you mind. Mind like a bird's mind. <laughs> What's the news, Histor? Well, you won't have seen it on the grown-up news, but this week it has been St George's Day. St George's hay, like some hay that a bird might eat. But who is St George, Histor? I have never bird egg wing. To find out that, we must fly back in time as the crow flies. Egg the egg. Fly. <laughs> This is this, Histor. This is France, Penny, in the Ancient of Days. The ancient of <laughs> like the French for egg, of lays like a bird lays an egg. Who is that man coming here, Histor? Vindaloo! Vindaloo! That is St George, Penny, the greatest English man that ever lived. You may know him by his noble song. We're gonna score one more thing, <laughs> you! England! Yay! Hello there, Histor. Well, it's me, St George. And I think, like, it's unfair that my day is never celebrated in the same way as the days of the patron saints of Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Quite right, St oh, George. Look at that, eh? <laughs> Yay, nice, look at that. Eh? But surely, yeah, Histor, yeah. English people's reluctance to celebrate St George's Day is to do with anxieties about the violent nature of English nationalism. Well, right, Guardian reader, eh? St. George is horrible, Histor. He hurt my bird's eye like an eye, which is German for egg. Good. <laughs> What are you doing with that ice, Pliny? I am preparing to shiver your tombra, Histor, by rubbing this on your neck, namely tombra, the distinctive tonal quality differentiating one vowel or sonant from another. <laughs> well, take that! Take that, you stupid oh. bird! Happy ah. St George's Day, everyone! Ah. Every ah. hen on the hen! Ah. 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 Make a pun now! Come ah. 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 on, Once again, let us prepare to meet the king or queen. of this week's show. So please welcome those that shall serve him or, or her, her, Trevor and Nathalie. Trevor and Nathalie are coming to the Trevor and Nathalie. They're dressed as St George and the Dragon. Trevor here, you remember our small-faced man, of course, today dressed as St George's Dragon. Trevor, your face and by association your tiny bee's mouth is so small <laughs> It's hard to imagine you posing a threat to any knight higher than two inches tall. No, oh, ha, ha, ha. What? I'm going to get awfully sick of the way you exploit my disability. All right, Guardian reader, a game, St. George. Yeah, right. Kick him while he's down. In the head and small yeah. face, come on. Yeah. And in honour of St. George, the king or queen of, of the, the show, show will get whatever they desire from this, loaded with all the things that Englishmen can be proud of. The St. George Trolley, land of hope and glory, mother of the free. Shut up! <laughs> Hold on. A shepherd's pie, is that it? We must have done something better than that in England. No, that's all we've got to show for English heritage and no, culture. Try and think of something, anything. Uh, nothing. No, there isn't anything. You're Go right, on, that's yeah. why no one celebrates St. George's Day, yeah. Stu. 